Hey y'all, what's up? I'm here for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. I mean, oof. Wrong franchise, Love and Hip Hop New York Season 7, Episode 6. Um, I think I'm going to do this by storyline. So we're going to start off with the continuation of Monice popping up on Rich or whatever, you know. When uh, Jade was sitting up here gassing herself up, calling herself a bad bitch and all this other stuff. And um, my whole thing was, when she said that shit last week was, you know... Um, you act like as if this is the only, this is like the first time Rich has heard that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like if this is your way of trying to convince him why he should fight for you or whatever, you're like, girl, you doing a bad job of it because he loved bad bitches. That's his fucking problem. And yeah, he like the fuck. He got a fucking problem. He loved bad bitches. That's his fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my song, y'all. But anyways, yeah, he loved bad bitches. That's his fucking problem. So this shit is nothing new to him that you saying. You know what I'm saying? So when she said that last week, I was just like, girl, really? Like, this is the best you can come up with? But anyway, so, you know, Monique pops up, whatever, whatever. Uh, she's claiming that she has work in New York or whatever. And he called her like a week ago. And, you know, uh... Jade is like, um, this is the man that I'm supposed to marry and have kids with and all this other stuff. I'm like, girl, you act like, uh, he ain't got other kids out there. Like, I mean, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, as if you was gonna be the first bitch to get him kids. Like, you know what I mean? And, um, I'm like, all, all this in six months? Like, I mean, I, I guess. But anyway, so, you know, Rich is saying that Monice is lying or whatever. And, you know, uh... You know, Monice was saying, you wanted to see my monkey and all this other stuff, this, that, and the third. I believe Rich did say that shit. <laughs> I don't know. I believe he did say that shit, though. But I don't even understand why Monice, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you here, you know? Um, Jade, she believes it because she knows how Rich talks and all this other stuff. And, you know, uh, he don't really... And, oh, Monice was saying, you know, he doesn't really want to move on. He really wants to be with me and all this other stuff. And Rich is like, he actually loves Jade, yada, yada, yada. Um, he was like that he was just on some uh, joking shit with Monice or whatever. Monice is trying to kiss all up on him and everything. And, you know, um, Jade is like, you know, why are you sitting next to her and not, you know, defending me and blah, blah, blah and all this other stuff? Like, why are you still sitting there and... You know, Monice, she's still picking or whatever. I was just like, Monice, I don't even know why you... Girl, why is you here? Like, <laughs> the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so um, from there, Rich and Jade, um, you know, keeping on their storyline, um, they meet up by the water or whatever. And, you know, um, she asked him about, you know, Mo saying that, you know... Monique saying that, you know, he wanted to see her monkey this, that, and the third. And he didn't deny or confirm whether he said that shit or not. He just saying that, you know, she let Monique get up under her skin and all this other stuff. And, you know, he was like, I mean, Monique was just saying random shit. And you was just, you know, wilding out and blase, blase. And, you know, Jason, he's talking about some that she's a good person and that she doesn't need all this and yada 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 and you know rich is like you know you can't handle a person like me and everything and as she's talking at one point he told her to shut the fuck up i'm like the fuck nigga like <laughs> you know what i'm saying and you know um she's still talking about how he wouldn't fight for her with his daughter or whatever and all this other bullshit i was just like shut so they go they separate ways and then, um, last on Rich, Rich's storyline, you know, uh, he goes, um, to his mom's house with Ashley. Ashley pretty much spills the beans on, uh, Rich's girlfriend, you know, when, uh, well, on Jade, or whatever, when Jade came and, uh, met Ashley and everything, and, you know, um, the, uh, and the, uh, and the mom was looking like, what, Ashley, you said that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how her face was. And, you know, Rich, he reveals that they're not together anymore, this, that, and the third, and, you know, Ashley, she kind of, you know, shades Rich a little bit or whatever. And, was, and was like, you know, um, what if the person that you get with or whatever, you getting with these young girls and, you know, um, she pretty much says that, you know, her dad is aging fast or whatever. And what if, you know, they go out to try to try to find somebody younger that's around their age and this, that, and third. And he looking at her like, I'm like, well, damn. I mean, it's, I mean, Rich is kind of aging, you know, at this point. But I, I was just like, well, damn, you know. <laughs> She shaved the fuck out of her dad. But anyways, um, 
you know, Ashley, she already knew they weren't meant to be, so whatever. Okay, so um, who do I want to talk about next? Uh, okay, so let's talk about Snoop. <laughs> let's talk about her. So she's back in Baltimore, um, Baltimore or whatever to, you know, visit her um, godmother, um, Denise. And, you know, um, she talks, she's um, talking about her relationship. Well, they're talking about her relationship with uh, Jay or whatever. And, you know, um, Denise had her suspicions too, just like how everybody else had their suspicions about how Jay has never dated a girl or whatever. And now all of a sudden she's saying how much she loves you and all this other stuff. I felt like it was bullshit and felt like she was an opportunist. She's just trying to use you for a come up. And everything so you know uh the godmother you know pretty much saying everything what everybody else is saying and um snoop doesn't think that way she thinks that jay is just a little self-centered but doesn't think that she's using her for a come up i'm like oh, girl okay but anyway so um snoop starts to talk about you know her foster mom and all this other stuff and you know um how snoop was like uh well, no, Snoop, she started crying or whatever because she was talking about how um, her foster mom was alone because, you know, they had to put her foster... They, they put her foster mom into a retirement home and didn't even say nothing to her about it or whatever, this, that, and the third. Um, and she explains how she was a crack baby and all this other stuff and that her foster mom, you know, gave her life and, you know, she calls her mama as she's talking about her. And I thought that was really sweet or whatever. And I felt so bad for Snoop, you know, watching her cry you know, talk about her foster mom being there for her and everything, and, you know, apparently her foster mom, you know, um, in her last days was in Pennsylvania by herself, and she's like, you know, how the family gonna, you know, see her and all this other stuff, blase, blase, so I guess she's trying to bring her back, that you know, bring her back down to Baltimore so, you know, everybody can see the graves, you know, see her, you know, see her at her grave or whatever, so, um, yeah, I really did feel bad for Snoop in that moment, so, um, I just wanted to hug her like, oh, Snoopy, like, you know what I'm saying? But no, like on some real shit, I really did want to hug her, you know, because I, you know, it was really sad and you could tell that it this wasn't no scripted shit. Um, so moving on from that, uh, okay, so we get Snoop and Jay, um, you know, they're meeting up or whatever and, uh. Jay, she's questioning Snoop's love, and, you know, and Snoop is like, see, right there, that's why you question my love for you, or <laughs> whatever, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, she needs, like, she feels like she's not the right one for Jay, she needs somebody to accept her flaws, and all this other stuff, Jay feels some type of way, and talking about some, you know, you, um, gonna break up with me, and all this other stuff, and, you know, um, Snoop feels like that Jay over-exaggerates, you know, situations, and, Snoop apologizes, but she has to let her go, and, you know, uh, Jay is hurt, you know, because she want to fuck Snoop up, and, you know, Snoop is like, my heart is hurting too, you know, <laughs> but I mean, it's like, we already know Snoop and Jay are still together, at least far as I know, because last month for Thanksgiving, they was both at Jewel, Jewel and, uh, Kim Bella's house for, um, Thanksgiving and shit, so, like, whatever, I mean, yeah, I guess Snoop didn't fully listen to us or her godmother. But anyways, okay, um, moving on from that, so, okay, let's talk about this shit with Yandy, and, uh, I swear, I'm so tired of this motherfucking shit with, with, with all of them, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's just talk about it, so, um, Yandy is meeting up with Mendeecee's, uh, sister, and, uh, Judy. So, Yandy says that pretty much they try to gang up, you know, Samantha and Erica try to gang up on her at the graduation party and all this other stuff. And, you know, brings up, you know, Samantha not letting her see Little Men DCs. And she's telling what Erica said, you know, about uh, the extent of the relationship that her and DCs had. And, you know, both Judy and the sister is saying that, <coughs> oh, that's false, that's not true or whatever. Of course, they're going to tell you that that's her son, and that's his sister, you know what I mean, um, but, um, they talk about the apartment that, you know, Erica claims that she got with Mendeecees or whatever, and you have both of their names is on it, this, that, and the third, and Judy is telling her that, you know, telling Andy that she needs to change the locks and all, and give her an eviction notice and all this other stuff, and I'm just like, 
Like, I mean, I don't know if y'all seen the shit on the shade room. If y'all haven't, y'all need to go look. Apparently, it was a leaked conversation, you know, between Samantha and, um, you know, uh, Erica or whatever about keeping the kids away and, you know, blase, blase. But like I said before, this is why, and I keep on saying, I can never be on nobody's side 100% in this situation because they all are wrong. You know what I mean? Um, you know, and then Kimbella, she want to jump in shit and everything. This, then, third, going back and forth with, uh, Erica. And it's like, Kimbella, um, worry about your own shit. Your best friend can handle her own shit. You know what I'm saying? She a grown-ass woman, okay? You know, and, uh, it was so funny how, uh, you know, Erica had put up the little picture when, you know, uh, Kimbella got her ass whipped by Chrissy. And Kimbella was like, yes, I fight, honey, and all this other stuff. I said, no, bitch. She trying to let you, trying to remind you that your motherfucking ass can't fight. And you might want to shut the hell up. <laughs> I was like, she was sent her, um, Ken and Barbie face built ass down somewhere with this bullshit. But, um, yeah. So, um, where was I at? Okay, yeah, so. It's just, it's just a lot with them, and it's just like I'm tired of this storyline. It's just, it's, th this whole shit is not fair to none of the, none of the kids at all. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, moving on from that, and this happened, this particular scene with Yandy and Erica happened towards the end of the episode. So, um, Erica, she's trying to get into her apartment or whatever, and you know she sees that she can't get in and sees this letter from Yandy or whatever, telling you know Erica to come see her and everything. So, Erica, she gets in the car or whatever and calls Sam up and to tell Sam what Yandy did or whatever. And Sam is like, you know, uh, go see that bitch and all this other stuff. And, you know, Erica was like, yeah, I'm going to go see her. I'm going to go see her and everything, this, that, and the third. And um, she's like that Yandy's name is not on the lease or whatever. And, you know, um, Samantha tells her... Oh, I already said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you know, so when, when Erica gets there... Um, and DC's sister is there. I'm like, damn, Yandy, you just never can handle shit on your, by your goddamn self. You always gotta have somebody there with you and, like, you know what I'm saying? And so, uh, yeah, the sister is there or whatever. Um, Yandy's like, yo, what's up? What's up? Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And Erica was like, you changed the locks or whatever and all this other stuff. And Yandy's like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did that just gassing herself up or whatever. That's what wifey does and all this other bullshit. And I'm just like... Y'all are not fucking married, okay? Y'all not fucking married. You know what I'm saying? And as far as I'm concerned, I feel like everybody else, both of y'all was slides. It's just that, Yandy, you were slipping and sliding better, you know what I'm saying? And Mendeecees wanted to be with you. And then Mendeecees, he's sitting up here saying from jail, you know, how uh, he didn't want none of this shit to go, none of this shit was supposed to go down this day and the third. But if you ain't want none of this shit to go down, then your ass should have never got yourself in a position to get locked up. So, whatever. You're like, they all just irritating me. Oh, whatever. I'm sick of all of them with this whole story. Like, I just, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. I'm sick of all of them with this shit. And Yandy, you is disrespectful as fuck to these girls. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, you sitting up here changing the locks. That shows me right there. You changing the locks on this girl's son. And that's exactly why I say, Andy, you don't give a fuck about Erica's son like you do Lil Mendeecees. Because had this been you and Samantha, it would have been a whole different story. You would have been talk, trying to talk all calm and shit with Samantha and everything for, you know, whatever reason. You let Samantha disrespect you, but you try to buck up your chest when it comes to Erica. Like, Andy, girl, if you don't sit the fuck down somewhere like... They all irritating me, and they all, ain't none of them thinking about the kids at this point. They all just being fucking petty. But, anyways, let me get up off of that. Um, I don't even know what's the next thing I even want to talk about. Um, alright, real quick, I'm gonna just talk about this shit with Mariah Lynn and Cisco. So, Mariah Lynn, she's rehearsing or whatever for her new track and everything. And, lo and behold, uh, Cisco, he comes in. And, you know, Mariah Lynn is like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is he doing here? Because last time she checked, the bu the blood is still bo um, boiling, between boiling between them or whatever. And, you know, um, Cisco, he feels bad about everything that happened between them last year. And he wants to come in and apologize. Sorry, y'all. My fucking nose stopped up for shit. But, um, yeah, you know, he wants to apologize for everything or whatever. And um, she's like, it might be a little bit too late for all that and all this other stuff. And he's saying, you know, he reminds her about the stuff that they have in common. And he talks to, you know, he talks to her about, you know, um, his mother having an aneurysm 
or whatever in her brain and mariah lynn's mom does too and you know she sees the pain in him and they both you know um vibe off of that and she you know she says that she's here for him and everything and you know they still want to do some records together but they just going to keep it strictly business so all right cool whatever all right now the last thing that we're going to talk about is this shit with you know bianca and all them so okay so we get bianca cardi and mariah um they're at the beach or whatever um you know cardi is telling them about the shit that happened with asia and swift and everything um, then they start talking, you know, Mariah starts to tell them about what happened at the Gwyneth Fest and she mentions Sky's name or whatever. And, um, Bianca like, why are you hanging with the ops and all this other stuff? And Mariah was like, you know, I'm neutral between y'all two and everything. And, um, you know, Bianca says that, you know, she has to do, get some renovations done to her house. So she's going to invite Drewski to her hotel room so she could bag him and all this other stuff. And Bianca, she's like, fuck his girlfriend, da 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 and everything. And Bianca was like, uh, uh, she, she's telling Mariah Lynn to tell Sky was really good and all this other stuff. I said, mm, okay. <laughs> um, so moving on from that, um... Okay, so we get Bianca and Drew. Um, you know, she's at the hotel room. She's in lingerie or whatever. You know, he's at the door. She's She answers it and everything. And, you know, as soon as he sees her, he's like, I know it's a bad idea, but I'm just trying to stick to the business. Like, you know it's a bad idea. You see this girl in um, her fucking bra and panties, but you still going to try to keep it on a business situation anyway? Like, are you, I mean, are you just this fucking stupid, Drew? Are you this, like, I just, this is why I'm going to be single forever, because I just, I can't, I can't, I just, oh my god, I can't, I can't. Okay, so anyways, um, because these motherfuckers on this goddamn show, whether the shit is scripted or not, this is shit that you see motherfuckers do in real life, okay, because niggas is just so fucking stupid. Um, but anyway, so, um. He thought that they was going to be at the bar or whatever, this, that, and the third, you know. But he finds out that her apartment is being renovated, whatever. She starts kissing on him and everything. Next thing you know, Sky, she's at the door or whatever. And um, Bianca, she looks through the peephole and she was like, ooh, it's for you or whatever. So Drew, he answers the door and Sky sees the lipstick on his lips or whatever. And she's like, you know, what the fuck is that? stuff and she was like you know white chocolate better have a good explanation for this i'm like stop calling him that just okay but um <laughs> anyway so you know he calls b i mean she calls bianca a thought scotch and all this other stuff and she's walking away from him he's trying to explain to her the situation although i don't see how the fuck you can explain that shit because your ass shouldn't have been there to begin with when you seen what the fuck type of shit bianca was on um, you know, he's like, I didn't kiss her or whatever. She kissed me and everything. And, you know, um, she's, you know, Sky's like, I'm a queen and I'm not competing with the hoe or whatever, but you are. You are or whatever. And, um, oh shit. I completely skipped the conversation her and Mariah Lynn had. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's back it up a little bit. So, real quick, Sky and Mariah Lynn, they meet up before this shit even happened. And Mariah Lynn is pretty much telling, um, Telling Sky what Bianca's plan is or whatever this day and the third. And, you know, um, Mariah Lynn is, you know, telling, is pretty much saying that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, Sky needs to check Drew. Because Drew um, is the one that's allowing this shit to go on and giving this shit attention, whatever, whatever. So, um, yeah, that pretty much was just a conversation between them before um, this whole shit at the hotel happened. I'm sorry, y'all completely forgot all about that day. I skipped right over that damn scene in my notes. But anyway, so yeah, back at the hotel or whatever. So, um, she's saying that she's not, she's a queen and she's not going to compete with a hoe, but you are competing with her. You are competing with her. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're allowing yourself to. If you was really a queen, you would have walked the fuck away from this situation a long time ago. You would have been done with this situation when he tried to play your ass, um, in the fucking park or whatever y'all was at last week saying that you was a basketball being passed around. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the last thing or whatever 
Bianca, she's, you know, performing or whatever. She's on stage performing and everything. And she was like, you know, Drewski hasn't hit her phone since the whole hotel situation went down or whatever. And she's not the type to chase after a guy. So if Drewski doesn't want all this, then oh well. I'm like, but you was chasing him. You were. But anyways, uh, so Sky shows up outside of the um you know once the concert or whatever you know is over with and everything and you know bianca's telling sky she ain't gonna do shit or whatever this day and the third and you know i mean uh, I mean, yeah yeah sky ain't gonna do shit because she ain't about that life and everything because uh, yeah but um anyway so um Bianca claims she's gonna handle mariah lynn's snitching ass or whatever and my whole thing is I don't really have, I don't have, I'm okay with Mariah Lynn telling, um, Sky about the shit or whatever, because I feel like, you know, um, her and Sky, they are, you know, she considers Sky, you know, a friend and everything, and, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to build, you know, a friendship or whatever, and I feel like, you know, if you're trying to build a friendship with somebody, keeping some shit from somebody like that, like, yeah, you know, that would be wrong, so, I wasn't mad at Mariah Lynn, I don't know how, how y'all feel about the shit, but I wasn't mad at Mariah Lynn, for, you know, um, saying that. Because earlier in the episode, too, Mariah Lynn was like, right is right and wrong is wrong. And she would want somebody to tell her if, you know, um, somebody was plotting um, to take her mans or whatever this day and the third. So, um, I felt Mariah Lynn. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, you know, Sky is calling Bianca a bird or whatever and then going to throw a piece of bread at her. I'm just like... And Bianca calls her corny and all this other stuff and... And she was like, you know, I don't want Drew and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, both of y'all are birds at this point. Like, I just, I mean, really, Sky? Like, first you, first Mama D with, you know, first Mama D from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, you know, laying the goddamn bird nest or whatever for Rashida's mama. And then yo ass, you know, sitting up here throwing motherfucking bird, I mean, throwing motherfucking bread and shit. It's like, I just, I can't. Like, I, I just, I really fucking cannot. But, um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I wanted to say before I end this video? No, that pretty much was it, y'all. Um, yeah, just... The whole shit with Sky and Bianca is getting on my goddamn nerves. And definitely the shit with Yandy and, um, the baby mamas and, and all that. That shit is getting on... That shit been past my fucking nerves or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys come back, and I will see you guys in the next video.